Hello Super User, today we're going to learn how to do string harmonics in Finale. Now there are two types of harmonics, is natural harmonics and artificial harmonics. We're going to briefly touch on natural harmonics, but mainly focus on artificial harmonics today, because those are not as straightforward to do in Finale. Now for artificial harmonics, there is a default way of doing this using the TG Tools plugin, but I'm going to show you some code I adapted from Jerry Williams, which will do string harmonics on all the valid intervals and only the valid intervals. This means that you know for sure you're only writing valid string harmonics, they look great, and they play back correctly. So without further ado, here's quickly how you want to do natural harmonics. First, let's just say we want an easy harmonic. Let's just do this D. That way we can just play it on the G string, okay? And then we're gonna to come to our articulations tool, hit O, and then click it, and we have a little circle that tells us we are playing our harmonic. Nice and simple. Players will look at this, see, oh, it's a harmonic, and then we'll figure out the fingerings. Alternatively, there's artificial harmonics. And you can see up here, I have a bunch of intervals for artificial harmonics. Of these, the only valid harmonics are that and that. The other three are test cases, and those you cannot actually do harmonics on. So the way you'd normally go about doing artificial harmonics with the default way is we're gonna just highlight this, and we're gonna come up to plugins, TG Tools, Easy Harmonics. Now you can only do fourths or thirds, and so means you can't do actually fifth artificial harmonics, even though violin players can do that. Uh, and then you normally hit apply, and ta-da, it would notate the harmonic. And then if you want to add the third, you click thirds, apply, and ta-da, you have the notated harmonic. And so if you want to do it the default way, that's it, nice and easy. But I'm gonna show you the way I usually do it. So first of all, you're going to want to go to my website, I'll have a link in the description, and go to the JW Lewis scripts. And then go down to string harmonics, download the script, and then just put it wherever you normally put most of your JW Lewis scripts. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, see my video on JW Lewis scripts in the description. And then, once you've installed that, you're gonna come back up here to JW Lua, you're gonna to go to manager, you're gonna click on menu, you're going to click new, find wherever you just saved the script, and it will automatically add it to this group. What this does is that way when you restart Finale and go up to plugins, JW Lua, you can see all the different scripts right here without actually having to look at the code ever again. So I'm going to do that. And then all you have to do is come up here to JW Lua, find the script, string harmonics, and just run it. And there you go. And you can see that it only did it on the valid string harmonics and all of them without having to play with any settings. So that's it. That's how you create string harmonics in Finale, both natural and artificial harmonics. So if you found this at all helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the Finale tips and tricks.